you have a test print button which is going to print the image shown here according to your selections. Uh, just a word of caution here. Uh, the front side here is a uh, blue rectangle. The latest driver will print a, uh, an image which is yellow with the uh, with a picture of uh, the zebra printer on it. So do not be uh, surprised if you do not print exactly that image on the front side and exactly that image on the back side. Okay? The most important here is to be able to print something. You have for the printing ribbon here the selection of how you want to use that ribbon. YMCKK, which is the ribbon which is presently installed on the printer, is grayed out here. This is the RFID information coming from the RFID uh, sticker on the ribbon and telling the driver the ribbon installed is YMCKK. However, <coughs> you can here use that ribbon according to your own choice. For example, the selection here is to print YMCK front and YMCK back. You can, if you wish, for example, use YMCK on the front and K on the back side only, which will be probably the uh, normal usage of YMCKK. When I change here my selection here, those two buttons here, front K extraction and back K extraction are going to be enabled or disabled depending my selection. So for example here if I do YMCK front K back, I can only play with front K extraction. If I select YMCK front YMCK back, then I will be able to play with both front and back black extraction. What does it mean? It means that we are, you are going to be able from the driver to select how you wish to print black areas and we will go back to the term area afterwards from your card design. By definition a pure black is a pixel which has a RGB value of 0, 0, 0. So when you send a print job to the printer, through the driver, the driver will analyze pixel per pixel all the pixels which has a RGB content of 0, 0, 0 are considered like a pure black, will be uh, printed with the black panel, and pixels which does not have a 0, 0, 0 value will be considered as a color and will be printed YMC. This sometimes has been, I would say, a little bit uh, difficult uh, to manage with the 330 and so on. Customers, for example, are sending an image and they think um, some information like the text is a pure black, but it's not a pure black as far as the driver is concerned, and so we'll print YMC. Engineers here on the ZX Speed driver has extended a little bit the flexibility of managing a black information even if it's not a pure black. So when you click on one of those two, they are basically doing exactly the same. Let's take the front for example. You can here select to disable the black extraction or print YMC composite and K black. In that case, a pixel with a 0, 0 value will be black, a pixel with no uh, 0, 0 value will be printed as a color. Or you can select eventually to print all black data. When you make a well, se selection here, you can select it to apply this selection on text, on graphic, or eventually on black monochrome bitmap. Evidently, you can select uh, one of the three or the three. You can now select to have it on full card or defined area or undefined area. 
it's probably better to leave it on the full card. And the major advantage here compared to the three setting, as you can see here, you can select a pixel up to 25, 25, 25 RGB to be considered as a pure black instead of just 0, 0, 0. Which means that if I leave my selection like I am now, text and graphic and monochrome bitmap having a pixel of up to 25, 25, 25 will be printed with solid black with the K panel. Evidently, this again depends your card design and what your customer wants to do. If you do not want to do it on full card, you can specify some areas on the card where, again, those three selections and up to 25, 25, 25 pixel values will be printed as a black. Let's suppose, for example, that you have a signature panel where you import uh, from a scanner the signature of a customer and you want to apply it as on a location on the card. So you just click here define area. You can here select it inches, landscape and so on. You click on area where you wish to apply those parameters and you just draw a rectangle here. So when you have the selected define area, everything in this rectangle which has up to 25, 25, 25 RGB values for again text, graphic and monochrome bitmap will be printed as pure black. You can do more if you wish. Okay, up to you. Evidently, you can define as many areas if you, as you uh, wish to do. And when you are set up, you click on cancel. Sorry, you click on OK. And you can do exactly the same for the black. So again, here you can repeat casing okay, of black data, black graphic, for example, and black text. A defined area you can select here to let's put it for example 10 10 10 or 12 it doesn't matter too much it's just a uh, an example here you select an area and you say everything in this rectangle here up to 12 15 11 need to be printed with my uh, k panel and again when you are set up for uh, the back side here you just click okay 